So if someone could tell me that bicycles can be used as a mode of transportation from Europe to Africa or Africa to Europe, I won't believe the person, guys. But guess what? This guy right there did it. Yeah, he did it. And guys, this video is about him. We are going to learn a lot. So where's your um don't <laughs> no <laughs> I need to like the stuff, yeah. yeah also usually and this okay Thank you. you haven't you haven't got you haven't no. contracted any no. illness mm. no one one night I spent in a hospital in Mauritania because of like bad stomach I don't know maybe some food poisoning I don't know but otherwise it was okay so far, it's okay. Not always, but I have a filter. You see, can filter the water as well. So this amazing guy, should I call him a superhero? <laughs> he actually started his journey right from Germany and now he's in Ghana and this is not his last destination okay so he's using this exact bicycle you probably wonder where you come by when you come back to Ghana uh, the cycle will take me along <laughs> <laughs> yes so what else tell us some maybe something different we've not heard today tell us about your I mean, traveling your, experience, one of, of your craziest experiences so far. Yeah. There's no crazy experience. In, in any really? of the countries you've been to, aside from the food? Uh -huh, aside from the food. What else? Have you experienced a bit of culture, maybe? It's like some tribal areas. Okay. And, um, besides this, like, I don't know, the area was really nice. It's really rough. A lot of, like, nice rainforest. So, uh, and also in general, the transition between between the desert yeah. all the way to the rainforest in Liberia was really interesting. See, so yeah, you, you experience so many things. It's like it's not like one special moment. It's just um, every day is different. So. Can I ask one thing then? Yeah. Can you try to experience more Ghana different Maybe cycling through some of the regions. You've gone, you've been through Sudan, you've been through Kumase, yeah. and now you're in Accra. Can yeah. you try? Yes, I think I think you're, you're asking for Volta, right? Yeah. yeah. So you try Volta, then maybe Upper West. You go to the what is it? East side of Ghana. Go to the Togo border, and then somehow yeah. in, I don't know somewhere. Depends on the ferry. Hey wait, Ronga Apo is Yeah, Ronga is Sinyan. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, so you try, try to go to all the regions. Okay, yeah, probably, there's 16 regions. There's 16 regions, so probably do a bit like 10 out of 16. And let's see how <laughs> yeah, the country is. Yeah. Yeah. You get to learn more actually. Yeah, yeah, see sure. how the people yeah. are the way they act compared to Marseille, you know, and see how the country is. Like every detour is quite difficult to do. Like, I mean, it's okay, but you need to do it like automatically. So, if you do it, like, uh, my first plan was to go all the way to the north of Ghana, but it's like. Yeah. Right here in Ghana, you get to. Yeah, you need to visit some. The history that is with the slavery and how yeah. we need to transition from that period to now. So, with another um, not for example, we have the Salagan. Um, yeah. yeah. Slave market. Yeah. We have yeah. Larabanga mosque. The mosque. Yeah, the first. No, I would like to visit the mosque, but it's far away. It's far away. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm not so on the side. Should I try to like make a little bit of 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 a it's so far. It's not it's not so even if I So I decided okay go down to Akka first and then into Togo and then east. 
Let me. I know, right? So, what have you tried so far? Which food have you tried so far? Some of it. Like. Like. The yum. Yum. Yeah. And uh, the green green stew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's consumer. Consumer stew. Yeah. Rice. Rice and soup or stew. Mostly stew yeah. or chicken. Yeah. I don't know all the names. Uh, <laughs> uh, every day I, I cycle in different areas. You know, oh, okay, so you just try anything. It's very yeah. nice. And gobe. Have you heard of gobe? Ooh, so it's, it's very good. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what we call gobe. Yeah. Watch it. Take it with egg. Yeah, before uh, gari. Everyone is like, you know, gari. So, um, gari is, is from. It's cassava. Cassava fish. Yeah. Cassava fish. Yeah. Yeah. See it as little as so Let me say, let me compare to sun. So that's how it looks like. Yeah. But it doesn't look brown. It is white. From Morocco. <laughs> no, it's only from the way in from the last six kilometers into Accra. Like no, 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 it's not. It's not. It's not from Ghana. It's from Morocco before it got here. <laughs> So his journey has not ended here in Ghana. He's going all the way to South Africa, guys, with this exact bicycle. If someone could tell me, I'll never believe. So he told us that he started his journey in Germany somewhere last year, July. Okay, so he's officially one year on the road to Ghana. Oh my God. And he's soon heading to Togo, Benin, to Nigeria, all the way to South Africa. And South Africa is his last stop. Guys, is this not amazing? What? Let me know in the comment section. Do you know anybody who goes with this adventure? Let me know. Is he a superhero? Oh my God. I'm super, super amazed. See what Yes. There's oh, danger. Be <laughs> There's danger. There's <laughs> danger. Okay, so thank you very much for your time. Well, we really appreciate. I didn't well, get your name or something. Yeah. All the best in your journey. Huh? All the best <laughs> throughout your journey. Yeah. Thank you very much. Actually, what was your boy? Just remember, like, he just says that I take a lot of vocal food. <laughs> I was talking too much. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Enjoy your. Thank you very much. Your. Your. I can say Enjoy the rest yeah. of your journey. <laughs> It's okay that you have something to say I about. Really <laughs> oh, come! Oh, yeah. So tell us what the guy told us. Well, I don't think I say it's wow. Wow, yeah, <laughs> <What's> wow. <just> wow? <laughs> like it's just amazing cycling from it's Germany. Exercise, to... Oh, oh, Kezia, yeah, guys. It's exercise. Just tell us something. I mean, from from, from, from Germany. Because from the beginning. I couldn't record, so now let's say something to them. Okay. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Just tell them what he told. Because you, you started with him before I came in. Oh, please. No, no, no. You are not shy. Guys. Oh! 
I'm coming. <laughs> so guys, she, she's not really to talk. Okay, so the guy was like he he started cycling from Germany. I was so amazed and I I decided to take a video of that. And I hope you guys enjoy this unplanned. Okay. So thank you so much guys for watching. I'm currently at the Accra Tourist Information Center. Um, yeah, and this is the famous bus, double decker bus. Yeah. So yeah, guys, that is it. I've learned something today. Taking risks. Yeah, that is it. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay. See ya. Bye. Hello, guys. So after seeing the guy off on his bicycle, I'm here at the E tree, guys. So I'm just taking my lunch. So one thing just came in mind and I was really amazed. In fact, I'm really, really amazed for someone to cycle from a particular country to Africa. In fact, a European country to Africa. And it's scarce, I believe. Um, I asked him one question earlier before recording that uh, why that why don't he apply for maybe Guinness Book of Record because this is just insane guys it's just a bicycle the bicycle that you saw earlier it's just insane like why would someone use and this is just an ordinary bicycle guys so why don't he just apply and then put it out there I don't know how Guinness Book of Record works but his answer was that he's doing it for himself, he's not doing it for anybody, he's, he's just taking an adventure. That's great, and I've learned something from him. Taking risk, gosh. Guys, just imagine going from one country to the other, cycling, lots of food, where to sleep. Guys, in terms of sleeping, <laughs> He doesn't book for hotel. He just he he told us that he has a tent. That when it's night time, he just find the place and then mount the tent and just sleep. Guys, it's so 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 amazing. I was throughout the conversation, I was like, wow, wow, wow. People are really taking risks and people are really taking, you know, in fact, exploring. And the reason why he uses tent often is that. Um, hotels are very expensive that's what he said yeah that's why he mostly used things but he also book hotel depending on the price so right now that he's in Ghana he has booked a hotel yeah so that is it guys I'm super 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 shocked amazed surprised at the same time and it looks like a movie So yeah guys, this was just a plan, it just came and I decided no, I should share it with you guys and I hope you enjoy this, okay? And away from that guys, I've been good to you guys, I know that's, I know it's not my fault, we are coming back, so don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, okay? And I know you miss me, you miss my voice, you miss everything about me. Okay, so see ya. Subscribe. Bye-bye.